The first step in today's lesson is to write this into your notes. Notice there's a lot of vocabulary in here. For whatever reason, when we start dealing with sine and cosine, all of our normal transformations we have, they get their own special names like amplitude and midline and stuff like that that we've already been dealing with. I mentioned frequency before. Phase shift is a completely new idea. Copy down this whole equation exactly as you see it and label those pieces. Pause it to get the notes down and then resume it when you got those. What can make these somewhat tricky at times to work with is these multiple sets of parentheses inside of sine or cosine here. It actually has to be that way. If you're wondering, wait, shouldn't we distribute in the 10? No, because if we distribute in the 10, then we no longer know what the phase shift is from this number here. All right, so let's go ahead and start filling in some pieces. Midline, that's going to be y equals 7. We're used to that one. Amplitude, we're also used to that. It's whatever number is multiplied by sine or cosine. Remember, always positive, though. And then frequency, frequency, that's a bit of a new term. Frequency is actually what that number is. In this case, it's the 10. Now, we need to find the period. Now, in order to find the period, we got to do a little bit of calculation. So to find the period, remember, we are going to do 360 divided by that B value. Now, the B value we now know is called the frequency. So I'm going to do 360 divided by 10. When I do 360 divided by 10, that gives me 36 degrees. So that's my period. And then the phase shift. The phase shift is just whatever this number is here. It is going to be 30. But which way does that 30 move it? Is that left or is it right? Well, remember when we go left and right, it's kind of backwards from the way we think it should be. Plus is actually going to take us to the left. So our phase shift here, we would say, is left 30. All right, next example. So our next example here, I again want you to go through and figure out the same things, midline, amplitude, and frequency, having just seen one done like this. Do it first on your paper, write out the work, and then we'll check it. All right, so first up, the midline. That's got to be the number that's added or subtracted on the end here. So our midline is going to be y equals 5. The amplitude, remember, is whatever number is multiplied out front, but always positive. So our amplitude here is 2. And the frequency, that is whatever the number is multiplied inside. So in this case, that's 3. Now I need to find period. So the period... Remember, I always do 360 divided by frequency. So it's going to be 360 divided by 3, which gives me 120 degrees. And then finally, the phase shift. That comes from this minus 90 here. So it's, the phase shift is 90. Minus tells me to go right. So the phase shift here is right 90. All right, one last problem. Again, write down this problem. Try to do it all on your own first, and then resume for the explanation. So my midline comes from whatever's added or subtracted on the end, so it's going to be y equals negative 1. My amplitude is the number multiplied out front, so that is 9. My frequency here, that is whatever is multiplied inside the parentheses, so my frequency here is 6. The period, remember, is 360 divided by... The frequency, so it's going to be 360 divided by 6, which is 60 degrees. And the phase shift, that comes from whatever is added or subtracted inside. In this case, that's the plus 4. And plus 4, remember, means that we're actually moving it left. So it's going to be a left 4 for the phase shift. Make sure you have this written down correctly, and then you should be ready to go on the assignment.